to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my MAC lipstick collection, doing swatches for you guys and showing you my favorite ones. I have quite a bit of MAC lipsticks so this should be a super fun video and yeah, let's get started. So with the exception of about three MAC lipsticks, I have all my MAC lipsticks in this container. I got this container from Amazon. I believe it was $14. I got it a while ago. I will link it in the description box below so you guys can see where I got it and what it looks like. And yeah, these are all my MAC lipsticks. Ooh. So yeah, I'm gonna swatch all of these. I guess what I will do is go with, I'm just gonna pick them up one by one and swatch them. And yeah, so the first one that I have is called Kiss the King. This was a limited edition one. It is a luster lipstick. Swatch it right there. You can hardly see it because it's actually more of like a glossy kind of lipstick. But as you can see, it's very light pink. Do, 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 do. And I absolutely love this one. I love this one because it doesn't give off too much color. And I like to just put it on if I'm going like more for a simpler look and I just want a little bit of something on my lips. I like to use this one. The next one that I have is called Sin. It is a matte one. It is like a matte burgundy ones kind of similar to the shade that I have on right now it is not the shade I have on right now though that is sin right there say this it's a very pretty matte burgundy shade absolutely perfect for the fall I love it shade I have is called D for danger this is also another matte one it is a little bit lighter than the sin one it's more of a red toned one it's like red and fuchsia I guess wow that was a very thick swatch but I really like this one I've been wearing this one quite a bit in the fall because it's like that nice berry looking one I think that's super pretty. Super pretty. The next one that I have is called Whirl, and this is a matte one as well. I feel like I have a lot of matte lipsticks. It's a little ridiculous. This is more of like a dark mauve one. I like this because it's a neutral shade, and I feel like it's more subtle than the other shades that I have. I really like it because it's a little bit on the darker side. I also have Velvet Teddy, which is a lighter, kind of like a lighter shade of this. Whirl, that was a whirl. Take me for a whirl, baby. The next one that I have is Flat Out Fabulous. This is a retro matte, so that means it's actually super, super drying. I would just put that out there. The retro mattes are very, very matte. And this is one of my favorite ones for like springtime. Spring and summer, I often wear Flat Out Fabulous. That's this one right here. I love it. Next one that I have is called Diva. It's another matte one. Oh my goodness. Do I have any that are not matte? Probably. And this is another dark maroony shade. A little bit lighter than the Sin, which is right up here. So it's a little bit lighter than that. Unfortunately, what I usually do for lip products is I get the same kind of shade, just in different, if that makes sense. Like, I'll get burgundy, but I'll get, like, dark burgundy, lighter burgundy, sort of burgundy. Like, it's ridiculous. So, especially in the fall, this is another one of my favorite ones. Diva and Sin are the ones that I wear the most for the fall. The next one that I have, oh my gosh, the name rubbed off. I don't know what this is. The next one that I have is Mocha. This is a satin one, so it's a little bit more moisturizing. I like this one because it's more on the neutrally shade. It's this color down here. Maybe I should zoom in so you can see it better. Oh, so this is Mocha. It's a lighter mauve shade. I really like it because it's like so perfectly neutral. It's so pretty. I love this one. I wear this one quite a bit. And it's just really nice if you're going for like a neutral light. Doobie doobie doo bop. Next one is called Kind of Sexy. It's also a matte one and it's more on the neutrally shade side again. It's a bit lighter than the one I just previously showed you. I'm actually going to zoom in so you can see. So this is Kind of Sexy. As you can see, it's very, very light on my skin tone. It's a perfect neutral shade for somebody who's my shade or fairer. I love this one. It's like a your lips but better kind of shade. It's a little too light for my, my like your lips but better kind of shade, but for anybody a little bit lighter, this is like perfect. Look how pretty that is. I just love it. It's so pretty. I love it. So I'm going to clean off my hand so I can do more swatch. Okay, so the next one is called Vegas Vault. This is an amplified one, so it's more on the moisturizing side. It's not as drying. I love this one for the springtime. It's pinky shade, not too overpowering, and it's just gorgeous for the spring. I mean, you can wear it anytime, but I mostly wear this one in the spring. Next one that I have is called Cyber. Now this one I don't usually use that much. It is a satin lipstick. It is more on the moisturizing side. It is very dark purple. I can't seem to rock this one too well. As you can see, it's super, super dark, and this is perfect for some people, but 
but the darkest I go is more of the like burgundy maroon shades and I'll go pretty dark but I do not wear dark purple normally and I got it to just like try it out but I don't like it on my skin tone very much but it is one of the ones in my collection so that is cyber next one that I have is called sweet and sour this is also another one that I wear in the springtime it is a little light for my shade so I do not wear this one that much because it's just a little too light and I feel like it makes my lips look like really ashy so I don't really like that look but it is a beautiful beautiful shade it is a cream sheen so it's super moisturizing and not drying or matte at all the next one I have is lust uh, sea sheer which was actually my first this was my first MAC lipstick my first MAC lipstick ever was C Sheer and it's this really pretty one. It's super moisturizing. As you can see, it's more on the glossy side of things. I will zoom in so you can see it. But as you can see, this is C Sheer. It is super, super glossy. This is the luster ones and those are the ones that are more glossy. Super, super glossy. But this is C Sheer, my very first MAC lipstick. It's not even gone. I've had this thing for a while and it's not even gone. The next one that I have is from the Cinderella collection and this one's called Royal Ball. It is this very light pinky shade. Unfortunately for me, this shade is way too light. Way too light for my skin tone. This is the shade right here. I mean, it, it works better as like a highlighter for me than it does a lipstick. So it's not my favorite shade. I actually have not really used it more than a couple times because it, it just doesn't work on my skin tone. I do love the packaging. I'm happy that I was able to get it because it was limited edition and it's Cinderella, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. I just have it as like part of my collection, but I don't really use it. And the last one here is called Dubonnet and it's the Amplified formula so it's not matte but it's not super moisturizing it's like right in the middle and that's that color right there it's also another beautiful maroony shade i have a lot of maroon shades and i absolutely love them it's just so pretty and some honorable mentions that i actually do not have right here because i believe they are in my travel bag are Our velvet teddy and i will put a picture of that right here that is like the very popular mauve shade that i feel like everybody has velvet teddy everyone i have that one i also have media which i use very often because it is the very very dark burgundy and i love that shade so that's my shade that's my shade i've been using that all the time but those are the other two and I don't have those right now with me so that's why I'm putting a picture right here but yeah that's it for my Mac collection I hope you guys like this video my Mac lipstick collection I hope you guys like this video I do plan to do another video on my Mac eyeshadows and my Mac um, lip liners and my other MAC products, so this is the first one. <laughs> if you guys like these videos and you like this one, please give it a thumbs up, and as always, don't forget to just be yourselves. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!